Hello, this is Richard from Pond Guru Landscaping. This is our latest job. We're just busy emptying the pond. We've got a container over there for all the wildlife. We're going to bottom the pond, lift the liner out, and then prepare it for the new liner. End of day one. These are the stones we took up from the side. Very big stones. Monster one there. This is all the underlay and carpet and crap that were lifted up from underneath the, the two liners that we're in. All breaking up. It's awful to get out. Uh, we've took the shape of the pond. We've put the shelves in. It's looking pretty good. We've built a breeze block wall up here because there's a huge root that goes along just under the surface here and we want to prevent that from coming into the pond. So that's really a barrier against the root. So we've increased the size of the pond, it used to just come around here. We've dug away into here, um, because there's a summer house going over here and a bit of decking. Uh, we're not doing that, but somebody else is doing it. So when they're sitting on the decking, they can look at a bit more of the pond. It used to just go around there. So we've added a bit more. The muck that we've dug out, when we've been building these extra shelves and so on, digging it a bit deeper, has all gone up here and we're going to kind of flatten that out grade it out so that it looks like a, a sweeping rise and um, build our cascade on top of here so it'll kind of come out from the back of here out of a tunnel cascade down over a few falls into this area here hopefully the water will kind of travel in that direction before getting picked up in the pump at the deep end in order to retain that soil, we used some of the stones that were dug up from the side of the pond and extended the dry stone wall up a little bit. So that's it, end of day one. Ready for day two. This is the end of day two. It was pretty windy this morning, so I didn't bother doing any filming. But uh, basically we put the underlay in first, which is this white stuff. Polyester underlay it sealed the bits together with uh, a blowtorch if you want to see how to do that search out some of my other videos um, put the underlay in put the liner in we've draped the liner loosely in and then we've created folds where it wants to where the folds want to be secured them with stones just lying on top filled it with water everything's now secured in place by the water and we've started building the dry stone wall So the idea is, there'll be a dry stone wall on the inside. Then what we'll do, we'll just secure it with a little bit of cement around the back. Put a little thin strip of underlay in along here. Chuck the liner forward and the underlay. Build the outer part of the wall here so that the line is sandwiched between the inside and the outside of the wall, so the line is up here. And then we're going to put a big cap and stone on the top. So the water will come up to the more or less the top of this wall. You won't see any of the liner. And the sides will be secure enough to walk on. This is the end of day three. We've pretty much got the internal wall built up. And what we've done here, we've sandwiched the liner. So we've put an extra bit of underlay in between the wall and the liner. Chuck the liner back, built the outer wall, and then we're gonna put a bit of cap and stone on top to cap all that lot off. The water's still gotta come up quite a long way. At the very least it wants to be to the bottom of those stones there. So today we're gonna to carry on with the outer wall and possibly start on the cascade. Hello, this is day six. We were practically finished on day five, but unfortunately I forgot the video camera on day four and five, so hence the bit of a gap. Um, this is the finished pond, so I'm gonna talk you through it now. The last day that I videoed, we were just building up the walls with the liner between them 
and then we put the capping on, secured it with cement. The walls are actually raised up a little bit from the existing ground level. That's so leaves and other debris doesn't blow in quite as much. So it should cut down on the amount of rubbish that ends up in the pond. See looking around the edges that you can't see any liner at all. It's all been covered up by the wall. The water can go up by about another two or three inches or so, but we're just leaving it where it is now so it's well above the cement till the cement totally goes off. This is the cascade. Unfortunately I didn't video any of this being built. But have a look at my other videos if you want to see how to build a cascade. It's basically just lined and the stone and cement built on top of it. Built a bit of a stone tunnel here, and there's actually a frog trying to get into there, trying to get out of the sun. The pump we've used, which sits just down in that deep corner there, is an Awazi Aquamax. Eco 6000 Premium, um, brand new out this year, very low wattage, high output pump, and the filter we've used is again an Oase filter, and it's a filter clear 15,000. So water comes up out of the pond, goes into the filter, filter cleans the water, UV light here, helps keep the algae at bay and then it comes out and here I've used an Oase splitter so if they don't want the cascade on all they've got to do turn the cascade off turn that one on and that one just goes straight back to the pond it actually comes in behind the dry stone wall so it just cuts out all the noise Just slowing down there, you can see. So, if they want to on a night, they can bypass the cascade. Filter's still running because the water's still going through it, but the water, instead of going up to the cascade, goes straight back to the pond. So, it keeps the filter alive, but it just cuts out the noise. Personally, I like the cascade on. Like that. This is a view from pretty high up on the patio. Nice view. Pond's roughly 4.5 meters by 4.5 meters by a meter deep. There is quite a few shelves. This area over here is like a shallow end. And then it shelves all the way around the edges here. Deep bit in the middle. Quite a nice feature in the garden. So that's the finished pond. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more, check out my channel. Uh, there's loads of videos on there. I think there's probably is about 950 or thereabouts now. Not all pond related, but there's quite a few pond ones in the pond playlists. If you want more, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Very good. Making dreams a reality. Thank you. <laughs>